Hello, my name is Kayla Schmidt. I'm a contractor for the Missouri Department of Conservation, leading the Aquatic Invasive Species Containment Program for the Greater Kansas City area, supporting 15 private lakes and their members by preventing the spread of aquatic invasive species through education and communication programs. This training was designed for lake members to help you learn what is an invasive species, what lakes and rivers are infested in nearby waterways, why should you care and take action? And what online resources are available for your use? An invasive species is defined as something that is non-native to that ecosystem. Once it's introduced, it causes or is likely to cause economic or environmental harm. Invasive species can be plants, animals, and other types of organisms. The AAIS program for Kansas City includes both aquatic plant and animal species and preventing the spread to our watersheds. Aquatic invasive plants come in many different forms, but four different plants to look for in your lake that may be floating on the water or growing nearby are hydrilla, parrot feather, elodea, and yellow floating heart. Please contact the Missouri Department of Conservation for technical advice if you discover any of these plants in or near your lake. What is a zebra mussel? A zebra mussel is a freshwater mussel, also considered an invasive species. They attach themselves to anything submerged on a hard surface in infested waters using bissel hairs. They spread very easy. And the number one way they spread is via commercial and recreational boats that have been in infested waters. But they also spread on amphibious airplanes, scuba equipment, transport containers, fishing gear, boat lifts, and boat docks. They have a limited number of natural predators and very high reproductive rates. One female zebra mussel is able to produce another one million zebra mussels each year. Up to five weeks of their life cycle, they are called villagers. In this state, they are not visible to the naked eye and can be transported in absorbent materials in standing water. Zebra mussels can populate a body of water in two to three years. And when that happens, they negatively affect the entire ecosystem, disrupting food webs, sport and commercial fishing, navigation, recreational boating, beaches, and agriculture. Zebra mussels were first identified in 1986 in Lake Erie. Unfortunately, zebra mussels have distributed greatly throughout the United States. Here is an updated map reflecting as of 2014 the prolific spread of zebra and quagga mussels throughout the United States. In fact, Kansas has many infested reservoirs and lakes Please take extreme caution, clean, drain, and dry any watercraft that has been in any of these infested waters prior to ever placing it back into any other body of water. Unfortunately, as of October the 14th, Pomona Reservoir was the most recently added uh, reservoir in the state of Kansas to be infested with zebra mussels. Missouri is also impacted negatively by infestations of zebra mussels. Nearby Lake Lottawana, Lake of the Ozarks, Smithville Lake, and the Missouri River all have zebra mussels. Why should you care and take action? Zebra mussels are quickly infesting nearby Missouri and Kansas waterways, negatively impacting entire ecosystems. They spread really easy. They attach themselves to anything submerged in infested waters. In the larva stage, remember, they are not visible to the naked eye and can live in absorbent materials for many days. Once a lake is infested, you can never go back. And the cost to maintain your lake after infested costs a lot of money as well as time. Prevention is the only way to stop them from spreading. Conserving the lake is a natural resource for our recreation and use is everyone's responsibility. It is important that you not only protect your investment you made in your watercraft, but also in your property value, and certainly safeguard your lake lifestyle that you and your family enjoy. What can you personally do? 
Inspect boats, trailers, recreational equipment before leaving or launching into any other body of water. Remove all plants and animals and dispose the trash on land. Thoroughly clean and drain all watercraft, kayaks, canoes, and recreational gear that has been in any type of infested water. Allow that watercraft and all that equipment that got wet to dry completely. And we ask that you consult this website called the 100th Meridian website under the Tools tab for a quarantine estimator. That will give you the exact time based on your physical location and time of year that you should quarantine and dry that particular watercraft, ensuring that any villagers or zebra mussels are dead prior to being placed into any other body of water. In addition, you can report sightings. There are two particular phone numbers that you can call, the Aquatic Nuisances Species Hotline 7x24 or the Missouri Department of Conservation. Remember to never release plants, pet fish, or animals into any body of water and dump your leftover bait in the trash on land. Avoid growing or buying plants that you know are invasive and help us spread the message of prevention, not the mussels. There are additional online resources, educational videos, the Missouri Department of Conservation, the Midwest Advanced Invasive Plant Network, as well as the 100th Meridian website that we encourage you to use as part of your lake prevention efforts. To summarize, please help us prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species and protect your lake's property values, fishing, boating, swimming, the shoreline, the entire ecosystem, and more importantly, the member's lifestyle. Thank you so much.